It's time for the return of the podcast you didn't know you needed. Yeah, so y'all can shut the fuck up and not bitch at me while I'm at shows. So let's let's just kick it off with what everybody wants to talk about. Oh, we're starting with this. The infamous Horror Slam Dive, where Top Gun decided you, you had a group of five on this side and you had a group of two on this side and Top Gun, well, he decided to pick the group of two. And, and yeah. like, he bust his ass I on the ground. I did bust my ass and, oh, man. Oh, man, in the back, I did not know the fucking cue for this thing. I didn't even call the spot, man. But, Don't let other people call your dives, brother. Yeah, well, we've learned that. We've definitely fucking learned that. But, like, I don't I don't know if it's just me, but I don't really place that much blame on Chin Strap. Chin Strap? What, what about all the rest of us, brother? Uh, <laughs> like, I, pl- I, I play some br- blame on Lamario. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if you watch it, Lamario's in the back, like, hitting people and looking at me, and then you can see his head follow me all the way up until I hit the ground. <laughs> and then you see him, and he goes, Hey. <laughs> Hey, are you all right? And fucking Zoe, shout out to Stitches and Zoe <laughs> for checking up Shouts on me. Stitches. Because I'll be honest, the first thing I said to Zoe and Stitches was, fuck y'all, get off me. Get the fuck off definitely me. Definitely did. That's a yeah. shit. Right, so what do you think about the outrage of people going off about this dive? Like 700 views on Facebook in like two days? Um, you know... It's weird. Like, that Saturday started out so calm, too. Like, I doubt anyone else... It, 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 it started off calm? Yeah. It the started... cold match? Uh, the oh. cold match started oh, yeah, off I'm as a sorry. calm day? No, that the day after the incident. Bro, oh, the, the day, day after. after. Yes, yes. The day after. Like, yeah, I was in pain. But, like, eh, it wasn't that bad. Like, if, if I can interject, I will say, when that happened, in the moment, you know, I, I just heard a boom. And I looked over, over, and I saw him on the ground. I realized, no, oh shoot, he dove on the floor. And then Zoe went for the pin. I, <laughs> I went to check on him, right? The um, ref came too. He started counting. So, I kicked but, out. But though. here's the thing: I've known him for a year, over a year, and he always talks about wanting to take a military press onto the ground inside of a normal ring. So Brother. when he takes a front bump inside of this low boy ring onto the ground. I didn't think it was that big a deal. Did I not tell you that I had revised that idea? <laughs> this guy, I'll be honest. He like, talks about falling on the ground all the time. So I was like, all right, he fell on the yeah, ground. Yeah, and then I actually... Yeah, and then no one caught me this time. But you then, wanted to. Brother, not you, in that moment. <laughs> so if it was inside of a regular ring, you would have been all right with falling on the ground. After that experience, fuck no. <laughs> but, fuck absolutely not. But... The best thing of this whole story was that it happened a year from the day where MM3 became, proved to be superhuman and took a Canadian destroyer onto the ground in a normal ring from the top rope where no one caught him. No one caught him in Tommy Vendetta and he fell right to the ground and got back up and screamed, BEST IN THE FUCKING WORLD! Wait, really? You should have did that. <laughs> Brother, according to people, I, I should have just started fighting people. Yeah, but yeah. I was so scared at that moment, brother. I, Were you really? Yes. This Like, it's weird. When I took the bump, I'm like, okay, I should definitely probably be hurt here because something has to be wrong. But then, like, the adrenaline was pumping so fucking much that I just didn't feel anything. Yeah. Like, it doesn't help that I don't remember anything. At, like, I don't remember going to the back. And, like, talking about it at first afterwards. And I barely remember the finish of the match. (laughs) But, like, other than that, like, it wasn't horrible. Yeah, like, everyone talked about that dive spot. But, like, what y'all missed was me and him had a minute and a half in the ring. And it was fire. (laughs) No one talked about that spot. Brother, that shit got, like, 50 views. (laughs) Our spot got 50 views with this dive. (laughs) I was so upset. I was so upset, man. I, I was so happy to post that fucking spot, too. I was like, man, that was so good. That was, like, the best thing of the match for yes. me. Because I didn't die. Yeah. And 
And then people talked about the dive. Yeah, which which uh, by the way, can we just say he didn't get hurt? He's not hurt from the dive. Guys. I'm just I'm just sore. Hurt. I'm just sore. <laughs> I mean that doesn't mean I'm hurt. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Because I'm sore every day. So exactly. We're all sore every day. But uh, that wasn't even the most exciting thing that happened during that night because what happened with Cobra Kai cutting this promo on Steve? Steve versus LJ. So I just got one question. <laughs> Are we are we going in deep? Have we seen the last of Cobra Kai at Pro Wrestling All Stars? Um. Well, the answer to that would. Well, for me, certainly. I'll just be fucking honest with you, man. Hell no, nah, dude. I ain't gonna like. How are you gonna diss LJ, right? And fucking do all this shit to LJ and expect me for to like wrestle for you, like did, genuinely? Did he diss LJ though? Did you not see the fucking stories, brother? But I thought he was just mad at Horror Slam. Then why was he saying Netflix called? Well, that was after, though. <laughs> that was after. I thought. Oh, I thought, I'm talking about the whole up. thing. <laughs> leading up. Leading up, yeah, maybe I would have. Uh, come on. Come I, I talk about y'all gimmick all the time. Yeah, but it's different <laughs> because, like, you know, we're friends. <laughs> but, like, you know, it just. That whole situation. That whole thing is fucked. Like, I'll be honest with you. And. Honestly, it makes me kind of want to go to that all-star show on Friday. Just to watch. Like, not wrestle, but I want to watch. Because he said, if you're not advertised, you're not on the show. And, like, I've only seen, like, two, I, you're advertised. You are on the show. Got a magic graphic. I wasn't on the poster. And, well, I know. But, like, you got a graphic and he posted it. He barely posts any of his matches. Okay, all right. <laughs> Am I wrong? I'm on the show, brother. <laughs> Hey, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to look right in the camera and say that. Please correct me if I'm wrong. All right, next topic. You Would already... you work for a racist promoter? This ain't got nothing to do with Steve, by the way. It's not talking about Steve. Would you work for a racist promoter? Absolutely fucking not. Do you see my skin color in my hair, bro? Didn't even say he was racist against blacks. What if they were racist against, like, Hispanics. Uh, anything, any race. If they were racist, would you work for them? If they were racist in general, also fuck no. Like, how the fuck... How, how can I knowingly work for someone who, like, unashamedly goes and says, I don't like this certain group of people just because of the way they look? I agree. I agree. I wouldn't work for a racist person. And either. if that's a controversial opinion to some people, then y'all need to fucking unadd me. Like, uh, on some real shit. Like, don't fuck what if you're? Fr what if I worked for a racist person? Would you be looking at me different? Yeah, I would. <laughs> I would. And we're fucking roommates. And, <laughs> and, brother, I might have to move out afterwards, honestly. <laughs> like, fuck, I would look at any person differently. Okay, alright. So what, like, is that, like, what would you work... For someone who was a thief. I feel like that might be different. Because, you know, they don't hate a whole race of people for no reason. Yeah, you know, when you They're steal just, something, yeah, when you like, steal something, you like you get caught, you go to jail, you come back, and you might be different. When you hate, when you're racist, that means you just hate somebody just because You of, can be a thief and not be a huge piece of shit. Yeah, klepto. There's kleptos that exist. It's yeah, but you can't be a racist and not be a huge piece of shit. Yeah, I agree. Because those things go fucking hand in hand, like dill pickle chips and Dr. Pepper sponsored. <laughs> please sponsors, please. Please, please, please sponsors, because we need help paying for this. Please, I'll drink shit. twelve Dr. Peppers a day if I have to. We should do a Dr. Pepper um taste test with no, all the Dr. No, Peppers. No contest. See who can drink the most in one sitting. You're not. You can't fuck with me. Right now. I'm sorry. It's gotten to the point where I can kill a fucking bottle. Of okay, this. we just have one two liter of Dr Pepper, and we have two hours to drink it. Like whoever drinks it the most. If you throw up, you're out. All right, I'll do that. That's a good idea. We should do that. I drink on average like two or three of these every day. Two or three? Oh. That's not that much. Yeah, yeah. That's like yeah. a Wendy's large with no ice. All right, so I know you wanted to talk about um, some some song that came out. Oh, Just In Time dropped a new fucking song, baby. That should be the intro song to this show. That kind of fucks with it. The the villain, I like villain. That's a good song. I do. I like that song. It's a good song. If you listen to villain, tell me it's not a good song. Listen to every other song you made and then tell me he's a good artist. So you like villain? I think... I think he was a better wrestler than a rapper, and 
he was mid at wrestling. Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm. I'm sorry, but it's true. Right. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> yeah, definitely not, not fucking sorry. Yo, know, Justin Time was one of my favorite opponents. When Justin he Time said he used me for rides. Fuck him. At least he told you the truth. Uh, yeah, after like nine months. <laughs> and only after he went fucking crazy. Alright, shouts out to Justin Time. Uh, shouts out to that one <clears throat> chick from AEW. Or NXT. Oh, Nikita Lions. Oh, shout out Nikita Lions, bro. One of the best wrestlers I've ever seen. It, you know, not It should have been me, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it should have been me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, did Rookie of the Year come out yet? Uh, no, Brutus didn't win yet. Oh, it's been three months. Yeah, but trust me, I, I knew a long time ago I wasn't going to win. <laughs> All right, if it's a fan vote... I know I'm not winning. I've come to terms with that. You could win. You, <laughs> Kyler, who's in there too? Solo. So Again, all good options. I have no idea why I'm even in the fucking Shut there. Shut up. Shut Honestly, up. I'm yes, not right. I'm not. We know Brutus is winning. Congratulations to him when he ever gets the award. Yep. I don't know when it's coming. But I, I think that about wraps us up for this podcast, brother. Oh, what? I think that's it. Boo. Episode two. Oh. That's it for this week of Killing the Business. Look at that. We kept within our time. Not even over 15 minutes. We usually don't do that, brother. Yeah. That's like you tell it. Fucking Lord knows. Our... Follow us on all forms of social media. You can see it inside the description box down below. Mm -hmm. and, and fuck Nickelback. <laughs>